what's up everybody welcome back to my channel uh, so today we're going to do a quick removal of some acrylic nails that I've had on for about three or four weeks did a couple refills on them some recolors <laughs> if you follow my Instagram you already know I'm going to use the Melody Susie drill Scarlet drill and this is a Panna I think it is a 4x coarse small barrel round top carbide bit <laughs> that is quite the mouthful but I'll have it linked in the description of course and it is an amazing little bit this is the first time I have seen any like thinner barrels. If you know these types of bits, you know they're usually a good amount fatter than this one here. So when I saw the small barrel, I figured I should try it. And like I said, it is 4X course. And you can see the ridges. It was super coarse, like ready to definitely do the job. As you can see the pieces of acrylic on my hand, like it really eats it up. It doesn't turn it into like fairy dust, really. It really just like gets in there and gets it off <laughs> a little too well sometimes. I can't blame the bit though. It is definitely my fault. Here on this finger, I did go a little too deep. Just a little bit too much pressure there. Um, on this index finger, right around there. See, I'm checking it there to see if like I could feel that it was on, on my nail. I decided to stop though I hadn't filed completely through my nail but that's just one thing I definitely wanted to show and point out that uh well yeah these bits can be dangerous these are real tools and yeah you can see the power that they have especially with the the drill I have the scarlet Melody Susie drill it goes all the way up to about 30 or 35,000 RPMs and that's super fast and you know the bit going that fast you the friction is so high you don't have but you know you don't even have a second you just have like a nanosecond really to kind of just like brush across the nail and make sure you're not staying in one spot too long as you can see even with the mistake I made I, I wasn't like staying there it was just a quick swipe maybe one swipe too many really and um and yeah I was like really close to my nail too close I usually don't want to go down too low I want to make sure there is enough so I can see what I'm doing though I do a clear layer under every set like that's why I was able to not completely get to my nail bed because I do have that clear layer that customary clear layer under my set and if you notice there I turned my drill off so I could put it in reverse as you can see now I am fouling toward the tip and that's one thing I love about these Melody Susie drills as far as I know they all have the forward and reverse setting and here when I'm using my left hand I had to put it back and forward to you know to file the way that I'm filing now from the cuticle to 
the fridge. And you can see that I'm not necessarily getting like super close to my cuticle. You definitely don't want to get too, too close because you do not want to get the body of that barrel touching your skin. It will rip it off so quickly. You won't even know what happened. It will just feel like a bee sting. It happens so fast, like a paper cut. You know, those really painful, really fast hurts. <laughs> Don't do it. Just take your time. And really, this technique is not my most safe Like I said, I'm not getting too close to the cuticle. As you can see, I'm leaving a, a good amount of polish and also product around the cuticle, making sure I don't nick myself. And my daughter was talking to me and showing me something on her laptop. As you can see, this drill really just makes super quick work of even the thickest acrylics. Polish, of course, is nothing. And at higher speeds, you seem, I, I seem to have an easier time removing acrylic. And I get less like snagging, if you know what I mean. Like, especially with these super coarse bits, if you don't have it high enough, you really can hurt yourself. Um, it'll snag and kind of just like pull back. It's it's really bad, but you know you really just want to make sure you have it high enough and you are comfortable enough. Go as slow as you need to to not hurt yourself and just practice. And I thought I got myself again there. See, you gotta be careful. Snagged it. But thanks so much for watching, you guys. I have another video with the soak off. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe button and come on back. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next one.